Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. To day 11 of vlogmas 2020 in case you guys may or may not know i am doing vlogmas 2020 so i'm posting a video every day until christmas day so make sure you guys go back and catch up with the previous 10 videos watch this one and then make sure you stay tuned for the rest of my videos so in today's video i did want to share my top 20 beauty products of 2020 so this is makeup hair care skin care body care nail care all of that i just wanted to brown up 20 products that i really really love really really enjoyed throughout this year to share them with you all so i hope you guys are interested i hope you guys keep on watching before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family because we're on the road to 8k period give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments questions opinions and any of your top products from this year leave it down below also make sure you guys watch this entire video because there may or there may not be a giveaway included in this video but you gotta watch the whole video to know so make sure y'all watch the whole video and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so my first favorite beauty product of 2020 these are in no particular order by the way i just rounded them up put them on here and now we're gonna share them so the first one is the fenty beauty brow mvp sculpting brow wax pencil and styler if you guys have been watching my chit chat get ready with me if you guys been watching my vlogs if you guys have followed me on instagram if y'all don't y'all should at kinesthetic underscore i have been speaking about this product for about the last two months i saw an instagram reel and this girl was using it and i'm like hmm i did not even know fenty came out with a brow wax stick because i feel like low-key fenty beauty has been blessing the girls but fenty beauty also been blessing the girls a little bit too quickly because i just can't keep up i don't know if it's just me comment down below but i saw this girl using this wax stick and i have been looking into like a wax product for my brows so as soon as i saw that reel i went to sephora and i ordered this brow stick yeah i don't know if you guys have noticed a difference in my brows but my brows are just more like you can see the real hairs of my brows it's not like brow product if that makes sense if you get what i'm saying in the comments down below let me know but i really enjoyed this brow stick and i will highly recommend it i see people using gatsby on their brows i see people using elmer's glue on their brows and i mean if that works for you then cool but if you want like an exact product that is formulated to hold the brows up and you know safe being on the skin then go ahead and purchase this wax stick because it is bae y'all know me y'all know this next product has been uh, my holy grail since february 2020 i posted a review on it i showed you guys how it worked in my hair in about a week and yeah i have been obsessed with it ever since i rave about it all the time on instagram i post when it restocks y'all been buying it y'all been trying it out also if you tried it and you haven't let me know how you like it comment down below and let me know but it is the camille rose naturals rejuve or grow back drops i tried these when i had my full locks in earlier this year and i did notice that it did help my hair grow but i felt like it was leaving like a white cast on my scalp so i told myself whenever i have in protective styles i will not use this just because i can't get around to washing my hair when i have in protective styles granted i do clean my scalp but it's not like a wash wash to get that white cast out so i love using this in my natural hair because when i have my natural hair out i wash my hair at least once a week and i feel like that is enough to get the cast away granted the cast may not be a big problem for you if not then feel free to use it while you have in protective styles Styles. but for me i'd rather just not have a cast on my scalp i'm always on the camera i'm always in people's faces and i don't need anyone thinking that i have a dangerous problem okay so i got these jobs i tried them i love them i gave you guys a review on them i speak about them time and time again so if you guys have not tried these drops make sure you guys pick them up when they restock they usually sold out but i'll link them down below if you guys follow me on instagram i usually post about the restocks so definitely recommend this product also if you do suffer from alopecia or any hair loss that is what this product is formulated for if you haven't tried this out i would highly recommend to try it out so my next favorite beauty product of 2020 is a lip product and it is the nyx lip oil hashtag this is everything this is their nyx this is their lip oil and i believe 01 yes 01 and this lip oil is bay whenever i have any lippy on and i just want to give it a little gloss a little pizzazz a little 
then I go ahead and put this lip oil on top because it is so good it smells good it also moisturizes the lips just a little bit not too much where you can have the matte look and then you can have the little shine on top of it and it's not doing too much so I absolutely love this I have about four of them in my collection at a time just because I usually like have one in my bag it's also a nice lip oil to use on its own so if you just want like a quick little lippy a quick little you know glossy look without anything underneath you can do that with this lip oil as well speaking of oils oils for the hair oils for the lip now we're speaking about oils for the nails okay so this is the bliss kiss simply pure hydrating oil for your cuticles i have it in the vanilla scent and you guys my cuticles have been dry like not just in the winter but just in general they just get dry i don't know if it's because i've been washing my hands so much with the pandemic using so much hand sanitizer but my cuticles have been dry so I got this from Amazon I just wanted any cuticle oil and this one came up so I tried it and I really really love it one other thing that I noticed about my cuticles which I didn't really notice before I started using a cuticle oil is that I get a lot of like hangnails and ever since I've been using this cuticle oil I've noticed that I don't get as many so I did purchase this from Amazon as I mentioned it did come in different scents too so I'll go ahead and link that down below but we don't need no dry cuticles okay and we don't like hangnails either so make sure you guys are moisturizing your cuticles so my next favorite beauty product is the necessaire body wash if you guys watch my vlogs my beauty videos i speak about this body wash also on instagram i really love it one it's clean beauty two it's eucalyptus scent which helps with just aromatherapy overall and three it just feels so amazing especially when you pair it with that musu beauty footy baby it is everything so if you're looking for a new body wash clean beauty check this out it is a little pricier than say your dove or say your caress body wash but it's absolutely worth it it's clean beauty it has niacinamide in it which also helps with helping even out the skin tone if you have like dark spots on your body it helps with that too so i would highly recommend this it also comes in unscented and in sandalwood which to me seems to be more of like a masculine scent so they give the girls options as well one thing about me is I do not like crusty lips. My lips get dry, so I always need something that is going to moisturize my lips. And not only moisturize my lips, but keep my lips moisturized for a good amount of time, okay? And this Laneige lip balm has been my go-to. So I started using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I still love, which I still use. But especially with the pandemic, I don't feel comfortable putting my finger in something and then putting it on my mouth when I'm outside. So the lip balm to me has a similar formula not the same formula but a similar formula to the lip sleeping mask and it has like the applicator so I don't have to use my fingers at all which I absolutely love this keeps my lips moisturized for such a long period of time like I literally put it on once a day and then I put it on like when I do my nighttime skincare routine and that's it I don't have to keep reapplying it throughout the day which I absolutely love as you guys can see I'm almost done with this one but it's okay because I got five more in my stash I do not play whenever Sephora has a sale I make sure to pick up at least one of them so if you haven't tried this lip balm, if you got crusty lips, if you're looking for something to moisturize your lips all day, check her out. It also comes in different flavors, scents. I have the berry one, but now they have so many different options that you get to choose. You get to choose and the girls love options. So as you guys, I don't know if you guys realize, but I've had a protective style since my birthday in May. So it's about to be six months that I've been rocking protective styles. Granted, in between, I give myself like a week or two to, you know, take care of my natural hair, let her breathe, let her do her thing. I also cut my hair back in October. But since I've been wearing protective styles, it's very important that you take care of your natural hair while you have in the protective style. So if you guys didn't see my video of how I have been taking care of my scalp while I had in these faux locks to help with hair growth I'll go ahead and link that video up above but my key my holy girl product if you follow me on Instagram y'all know that I love myself my Mazzani 25 miracle milk this is one of the best leave-in conditioners not only for protective styles but for natural hair as well it has 25 benefits while you use it in your hair they're all listed on the back but I love 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 love, love this leave-in conditioner y'all probably like girl we tired of hearing you talk about it but did you try it though because y'all be tired of hearing me speak about things but did you try it if you tried it then comment down below and let me know but this is perfect for having in protective styles because it allows you to moisturize your scalp without feeling too heavy without you know adding too much product builds up so if you have not tried this leave-in conditioner i highly recommend that you go ahead and try it out because it is 
bae. It is bae. It's bae. It's bae. Okay? And it's sold in Sephora and it's sold in Ulta. And you can use the Sephora coupons and the Ulta coupons on it most of the time. I think Mazzani is considered a prestige brand at Ulta. But y'all get the gist. You can buy from multiple places. You can get it on a discount. And it comes in two sizes. So this is a bigger size. This is a 13.5 fluid ounce. But it also comes in, I believe, an 8 fluid ounce. So you could try that one first if you want. And then you could go ahead and try this one. Another product you guys are probably tired of hearing me tell you guys how amazing it is, but it is the Palmer's Deep Radiance Gel Oil. I tried this for the first time when I went to Jamaica in February with my friends. My friend Kiani had it and I tried it out and I'm like, I love me some Palmer's, but how did I never ever try this product before and never ever realize how amazing it was? But this product is amazing for moisturizing your skin and giving yourself a nice glow, especially while you're on vacation. I've been getting so many compliments on my skin and pictures this year, and this is what I've been using. No edits, no none of that. It's a natural glow, and it's all by this Palmer's Gel Oil. This is like $4 on Amazon, which is amazing. It comes with 5.25 fluid ounces of product. The only thing is that when you travel with this, you do have to put it in a smaller container if you're traveling with just a carry-on because it's too big for the carry-on liquid limit. But this is This is a vacation must-have. This is a life must-have. It makes you smell good. makes you feel good. It makes you just it makes you good okay so try it out it's four dollars i get mine from amazon so i'll go ahead and put the link down below but they also sell it at walmart i don't think they carry it at target don't quote me but y'all can get it from amazon i'll put the link down below if you guys have been watching my makeup videos for the past year ish i've been obsessed with the lancome tint Edo foundation and i'm still obsessed with it i don't think that i will never ever be able to get over it the formula is amazing lancome if you're watching this please do not change the formula of that foundation it is so good and I just love it but I decided to venture off and try some new foundations this year so I do kind of want to do a separate video about that but in the meantime I did want to share another favorite with you guys and it is the Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation so when Fenty Beauty first came out with like their soft matte foundation I did try it out and I did not like the formula and I just I just couldn't get with it I love myself like a nice dewy-ish looking face I don't really like a matte matte face if that makes sense so I went ahead and tried this out. It did not break me out, which was a key because a lot of foundations I did try did end up breaking me out. This foundation did not break me out. The color match is flawless. I used the shade 410. It's just so good. Like, it's so good. I would highly recommend to try this foundation out. And that means a lot coming from me because I've been on my same Lancome foundation religiously for the past two, three years. And I went ahead and tried this one and I really like it. I really love it. So I would highly recommend to try it out. So I always get so many compliments about my teeth. And people are like, oh my god, your teeth are so white. How do you get your teeth so white? And I'm like, I always do this. I always do really i don't know why i always do that so to get my teeth bite what i do is i go see my girl lynette whitening by brooklyn for three to four times a year depending on my schedule and all of that but she does a great job whitening my teeth but with that you can't do it too often so in the meantime like in the interim periods i use my crest 3d whitening strips these are bay okay i put these on probably like four times a night and they do what they have to do in between my sessions so these whitening strips are enamel safe so i know a lot of people are nervous about you know protecting their enamel while they are doing whitening services or while they are using whitening products but these crush strips are bay like if y'all use these then y'all know crest does not play when it comes to teeth products their mouthwash their toothpaste their whitening strips all amazing so i would highly recommend to try these out i get these from amazon and i actually got this box on sale during black friday on amazon it was like 23 dollars, which was a great buy i actually should have bought two but whatever so i would highly recommend to use these strips if you are looking to whiten your teeth and if you are in the new york area make sure you check out my girl lynette whitening by brooklyn i'll put her instagram down below and i also recorded when she did my teeth a while back so i'll link that video up above but yeah i love having white teeth i love a good smile period so we all need a go-to red lipstick in our collection and for me that is boss lady by the lip bar if you guys know me if you guys watch my channel y'all know i love the lip bar it is a black owned brand 
it is vegan it is cruelty free and their products are amazing and are sold at a great price so boss lady is my go-to red lipstick if y'all see me with the red lip on nine times out of ten it's boss lady so but i'm actually done with this one like i have a little bit left but honestly there's like nothing left in the tube so i do have to get a new one my local target has been sold out for a while i like to pick their products up from target just because y'all know when you're in target you're just looking for things to buy like you just be in target like hmm what do I need? What do I think I need? What can I pick up? So whenever my Target has this color back in stock because it has been sold out a lot lately, I'll go ahead and pick up a new one. So as you guys may or may not know, I do have acne prone skin. So I've just been really obsessed specifically this year with finding products and finding things that are just safe for my skin that work for my skin. And one thing I did notice is me using paper towels on my skin was kind of rough. So I went ahead and tried these hand towels out, these Kleenex hand towels, and they are Bay. So I found these from my homegirl, Natalie Munoz's channel. She is Bay of Organizing, Bay of go-to staple products that you just need. Like you watch her, her channel, you watch her videos, and you don't know you need something until you see her with it. And she shows you 10 ways you can use it, and you just say, like, okay, I need that. Just because Natalie got it, and she showed me 10 different ways I could use it. So I picked up these hand towels. I think she uses these in her bathroom for hands, but after I saw how how soft they were i'm like let me try them on my face and i actually love them so i get these from amazon they sell six boxes of these for 17 bucks which is not bad it's probably like a five cent comparison versus buying the boxes individually from like target because they all sold in target as well but i absolutely love these hand towels i get the six box and it probably takes me about like eight months to get through it maybe because each one comes with 60 towels but it takes me a while to get through them. I would highly recommend them. You can take them out of this packaging and you can put them in like a acrylic tray in your house too if you want to do that, if you want to use it for hands. But I just keep it in a box because I don't need anything getting contaminated and then it's going on my face and all of that. So yeah, but I love these hand towels for my face. Let's talk about hair, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about hair growth and strength. Let's talk about more oyster. <laughs> But yeah, my go-to deep conditioner has been the Mish Beauty Deep Conditioner, the Indulge. If y'all know me, y'all know how much I love this deep conditioner. It smells like candy and it moisturizes the hair so well and the curls be popping. So what's up? What else we need? What else do we need? Let me know. But this is Bay. This is my all-time favorite deep conditioner. It's black owned and it is free of where is it it's made with honey and babasu oil and it has no silicones no drying alcohols no sulfates no parabens no mineral oils synthetic no synthetic or artificial colors no fat fat or animal testing so this is Bay. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners. If you guys have been keeping up with my vlogmas series on my channel, I also did a giveaway sponsored by Mish Beauty. So if you guys missed that, sorry, but it is my favorite deep conditioner. Make sure you guys are watching all of my videos because I got some popping giveaways still to come. So y'all can still get some good stuff, especially some of these products. So when it comes to teeth, your toothpaste is very important too. So you can get your teeth whitened. You can use a crust whitening strip. So if the toothpaste you're using is not helping to whiten your teeth, it's not helping to keep your teeth clean, then it kind of cancels everything else out. So the toothpaste I have really been enjoying using is a Burt's Bees. Ooh, the Burt's Bees Charcoal Plus Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. I absolutely love, love, love this toothpaste. It's just so refreshing. But I use this also with the Crest 3D toothpaste because that's just bay. But I absolutely love this toothpaste. I don't know what it does, but I feel like it gives my teeth an extra whitening along with the Crest toothpaste so if you guys want to try out this toothpaste i would highly recommend it i actually got like found out about this toothpaste from an ad that i heard on pandora so shout out to birds bees for putting ads on pandora because as i'm listening to my music at night these ads be popping up and i fell in i said let me go ahead and pick it up and i actually really love it so as a black woman, a problem we deal with is discoloration, not only on our face, but also on our body. And one area that I do have problems with when it comes to discoloration is my bikini area. And you know, going on vacation, you might want to put on a little small thong kini or whatever and i'm just like okay, if i'm wearing that then i need to make sure that area looks right, okay? So 
I actually told my esthetician Cynthia I'm like Cynthia I'm looking for a product to help not only my bikini area but also my armpits I would show y'all but I don't yeah I didn't shave so I won't show y'all I've been using this product on my armpits and my bikini area to help with discoloration and it is the vanish PFB ultra triple action skin lightening plus post hair removal roll on serum mouthful but this is the one that I use I don't get a lot of ingrown hairs which is why Cynthia recommended this one for me but they do have a separate one for ingrown hairs as well so this claims to correct heal and brighten skin and i've been using this on my armpits and bikini area for maybe about three weeks now and y'all when i tell y'all it works it works the only thing about this product which i do want to very much so specify is that it does have the area peel so while i was using this i saw my little you know the front of my bikini area peeling and i'm just like what's going on here but that is what it does and that is how it helps with brightening and removing discoloration from the areas that you use it in but you can use it on your legs you can use it on your arms you can use it on your neck area but i use this on my bikini and armpits and it does an amazing job so if you're looking for a product to help with discoloration in trouble areas that you have put down the bleaching creams put down all of that other unhealthy things that you're using and pick this up it is absolutely worth every penny one thing that i did want to specify is that this is quote unquote sold on amazon but on the product it specifically says no not authorized for resale on amazon.com or ebay.com this brand does not sell their products on amazon or ebay and you want to be careful with that because when people sell skincare products body care products on amazon it's usually not the real thing so if you guys are interested in picking up this product you can actually get it from my esthetician cynthia i know that i always tell you guys that when it comes to skincare products you need a um consultation you need a virtual health session in order to her for her to assess your skin so that you can actually buy products from her she does not sell skincare products to people who are not her clients but for a product like this you can go ahead and buy that from her so i'll go ahead and link it down below and i believe she has the option for like the ingrown hairs as well if that makes sense so pick this up try it out let me know what you guys think i think it's worth every penny it does a great job it's been doing a great job and yeah so if you like me you like for your skin to feel and look nice and smooth so this is my go-to body product this is from musa beauty which is a black owned woman owned muslim owned brand based here in new york city this is her coco nilla whipped body butter this is what i've been using it's been keeping my skin nice and moisturized nice and shiny nice and you know I love this scent and I also love the milk and honey but if you guys have not tried her products before I definitely recommend to try them out they are hand mixed and they're just big like they're just so soft I used to be scared of trying body butters because I just used to be like oh they thick they chunky they hard but I didn't try the right body butter so this is the consistency of the Musu Beauty body butter just so that you guys can see like it's thick but it's not hard if that makes sense and I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little tutorial a little try on right now I don't have anything on my skin because I'm actually gonna shower right after I record this video but once you work it in this is how it looks and y'all saw it literally took me a few seconds to do that and then i just go ahead and apply it on the body and it gives a nice glow this is also like vacation friendly like if you're going away and you want a product to you know give the skin a nice glow you can also use this body butter as well but i love to lather it on my skin right before i go to sleep because i just feel like with this scent it also helps me go to sleep more i don't know if it's just me certain scents just put me to bed okay and this is just one of those scents so i really love this body butter and if you're looking for a body butter that you want to try black owned then go ahead and check out mousse beauty so not only do i like to look good but i also like to smell good so one of my favorite perfumes this year has been the chance by chanel Oots tende tende i don't know how to pronounce that but this has been my go-to y'all can see i only have a little bit of it left i actually picked this up from sephora so let me put y'all on if y'all want to try any scents and y'all want to get a sale sephora is usually the best during their 20 percent or their 20 dollar their 25 dollar off sales because scents are usually included i don't think they've ever been excluded but you can correct me if i'm wrong but i usually get a new perfume almost every time that they have a sale so i picked this up maybe a year and a half ago and y'all can see that it's been a real deal i think this is a smaller bottle i actually think i have another chance by chanel that's a bigger bottle but i absolutely love this one it smells so elegant so rich so luxe mm. 
I need to get another bottle. I absolutely do. If you're looking for a new scent to try, then I would highly recommend this perfume because it just makes me smell so good. And it's also very strong, whatever this Oud Tender is. I'm not too sure what this is, but I know like... um certain types of fragrances stay on things longer and last longer and this lasts forever once i spray this on a coat it don't come off until i wash that coat so if you're like me and you go out and you wear your makeup for a long day you probably like you know sometimes you get a little oily and you could touch up like you know with your powders but what i like to do is use blotting sheets so these are the blotting sheets i love to use these are from elf cosmetics these used to be one dollar for 30 sheets and they raised the price to two dollars which still is not bad but i have one of these literally in each and every one of my bags when i'm out throughout the day if i get oily i just go ahead and take a sheet tap 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 and it removes the oil without removing your makeup it refreshes my face throughout the day faster than taking out a brush and taking out a powder i just gotta take out a sheet tap 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 throw that sheet away and i'm good so my next favorite deep conditioner this year has been the curls dynasty pumpkin mint deep treatment if you guys saw my video where i did like my all black wash day routine i discovered how much i love this deep conditioner and i truly do i'm actually on my third one since i did that video so that says a lot especially since i've had it in protective styles a lot lately but if you guys have not tried this i highly recommend to try it out they do sell it in target this is a black owned brand and i really love their deep conditioner i tried their leave-in too which i like but i don't love so try this deep conditioner out and let me know what y'all think and my last favorite product of 2020 is my pca skin daily cleansing oil if you guys watch any of my skin videos my body videos my favorites videos i always speak about this daily cleansing oil if you wear makeup if you are taking care of your skin you need to make sure you're all cleansing to get rid of the makeup that is not on the surface of your face the makeup that has like sunken into your pores we need to get it out okay those oil plugs we need to get them out and this cleansing oil is amazing i know that dermalogical also has a pre-cleanse i haven't tried that one out yet but i tried this and i really really enjoy it so y'all yeah, guessed it i have a giveaway in today's video so the giveaway for day 11 of my vlogmas ken miss series here on my youtube channel will be a mystery box which will contain a few of my favorite products that i did mention in today's video so it could be here it could be skincare it could be body care it will be a mixture of products that were mentioned in today's video so in order to enter this giveaway one you must be subscribed to my youtube channel two you must be following me on instagram at kinesthetic underscore three you must give this video a thumbs up Four, drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite products, what your favorite beauty products were in 2020. And also include your Instagram handle in your comment down below. Once you complete all of those steps, please DM me with screenshots showing that you have completed all of these steps. And that's it. You're entered into the giveaway. This giveaway will close tomorrow, December 12th at 12 p.m. noon. So I'll give you guys 24 hours to enter this giveaway. Y'all, this giveaway is about to be popping, okay? So make sure y'all enter. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support. I love you guys all. So those are my top 20 beauty products of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys tried any of these products. If you guys plan to pick any of these products up, please comment down below and let your girl know, period. Before you guys head out, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Don't forget to let me know, let us know what your favorite beauty products from 2020 have been because I am looking for new things to try. So let me know. So body care, hair care, makeup, comment down below and let your girl know and until my next video which will be tomorrow i'll see you guys later